If you're a language student or a language teacher and you're looking for ideas around practicing and learning vocabulary and making it more interesting, this is the video for you. I promise you this video is packed with ideas. I've been a language teacher for 38 years and I've also been a language student. Now at school I was a disaster uh, in languages but I learned to learn them and I'm now on my fourth language. I'm going to divide this video into into two parts. Part one, I'm going to show you loads of ideas and I'm going to show you a technology that you can use that you can actually access for free. And then in part two, I'm going to show you some super quick ways of generating the content for the games and activities. Really hope you like the video. And as always, if you do, please like it. Please comment on it. Please share the video. And of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. This would be my number one site for studying vocabulary. The reason is simply because there are so many activities. If I clicked on create activity, then you'll see that there's just tons of different games that you can create by putting in the vocabulary that you want to practice and making games. It's super, super simple. Let's just take a quick look at a few activity types so you get an idea of what you can do. So in this example, for example, you've got to drop the right words in, drag the right words in. So for example, warm, and this one would be coming in here, and uh, uh, ear. So that's a drag activity, which is great for practicing grammar. In this activity, we're practicing the past, but we have to put the words in the, cr in the correct order. And we get marks, and it moves on to the next question. So she watched... TV yesterday, etc. So this is a kind of syntax type of activity. In this activity, you kind of match Drunk. the word by dragging it out to the correct object on the picture. This activity I'm doing in Polish, and what I've got to do is drag in the correct word to complete the sentence. And it goes on and on and on because there are just so many activities. Now, of course, really important is how to create an account and get a free account. And also, how do we make the activities? Okay, you've got a taster of why I like this website so much. And there are, in fact, ways of getting a free account. And I'm going to explain it carefully because a lot of people get confused. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to show you how to create the games and you're going to be amazed how easy it is to do. Don't forget, if you're finding the video useful, please like it. Let's carry on. If you sign up to a free account, you're allowed to make three games. Now where people get confused is that you can then use those free games again and again and again. So for example, if we looked at this first one here, I can click now. Let's just quickly play this game. I've already shown you how this one works, okay? Where you've got to literally drag and organize the sentences. So, I drove to school, etc. Now, I can still come back and edit this game and play it completely differently. So, I'm going to click on sentences in the present. And I'm going to change this to I drive to school. I eat fish for breakfast. And I play the guitar. Okay, and then I'm going to click on done. And now I'm going to play the game again. So what a lot of people misunderstand is that they think they can only make free games and then they can never use those games again. No, you're able to use those games again and again and again and with different content. So my tip is, if you create an, a free account, choose your games very carefully. And I would suggest, for example, that Matchup is a great game. Complete the Sentences is a great game and Unjumble. Those would be free that I would recommend if you sign up to a free account. Now, I don't have any kind of connection with WordWall as in I don't sell their product or get any kind of affiliate, but I have to say it is very reasonable to sign up and create an account. In the free tool, you don't get access to every single game, but the interesting thing is most of the very useful ones you do get uh, access to, and so you will find amongst these three games that you really like. 
Now I do also have a paid account as well as my free account and I'm on my paid account now and I'm going to show you some of the most interesting activities and how to create them. So I'm going to click on create an activity and we'll start by doing a, a complete the sentences because this is really interesting. You can take any text any text from anywhere and paste it in and create the gaps for it. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to jump over to my website. It's rather boring. It just gives you information about my career, etc. But I'm just going to copy this text here at the top and paste this in. So remember, the text could come from anywhere. It could come from any AI tool that you've used to generate or from something that you uh, want to work with and read. Now, all you need to do now is to create the gaps. Well, how do you create the gaps? Well, I'm going to put in a few. So I just select the word that I want to turn into a gap and then click on Add. And then I might select another word. So I'm going to click on here and then click on add. And then I might select another word and then I'm going to click here and add. Now you can even include multiple words. So if you, for example, want to have the word language learning, then you can put that in as well and then add it. Now I won't add any more. Let's play this game. So once you've made the game, you click on done and now you can play the game. And if we click here, you'll see that this game, you have to drag the words in. So it would be here uh, is an educational technologist and language learning. OK, so let's put that one here. OK, and then to extend learning options, focus. OK, and then press the once you've done all the activities and you've clicked it all, just simply click, click on submit answers and you'll get feedback. OK, and whether you got it wrong or right. So that's how easy it is to generate a gap fill activity. Now, one of the most useful ones, of course, is the match up. And we can use this for all sorts of things where we can have a word, maybe the opposite or the beginning of the sentence and the end of the sentence, or maybe in, in English and then in another language. I often do this where I've got words in English that I want to, or words in Polish that I want to learn, learn, and then the translation. But you don't have to do translations. It could be a word plus a definition, etc. So loads and loads of options. So let me just quickly fill it in. So, for example, in this activity that I've created here, I'm actually doing translations. And all I need to do is to kind of select the word and then drop it in. Notice also that it plays the audio for me, which is absolutely brilliant in Polish. OK, so again, I'll put it there. And again, once you finish, you would click on this button here to check. Now, if we was to look at how I made this game, it's very, very simple. I've simply added in the word in Polish and the word in English. And these words have come from uh, an act, a reading activity. Now you can also add the audio and if you just select the word, okay, and click on this button here, Otoczone. then you can generate. So if I just remove the audio from there, if I wanted to add it back in again, just, sorry, in fact, you don't need to select it, just click on the button there and just make sure you've got the right language selected. So I'm going to use Polish and then click on generate. Otoczone. And that will generate the audio. Click on OK and now you'll have audio with the activities as well. OK, really hope you're finding the video useful. And if you are, then please click on the like button because it massively helps me. If you're a teacher and you want to know more about WordWall and lots of the different settings that are available and how to check the results of activities, etc. If you want a much deeper understanding, watch the video that's on the screen now because I go into much more detail. I'm going to give you now a few tricks on how to make your WordWalls really quickly. Now you might be really surprised by this next trick and you could do this in ChatGPT or Copilot or in fact loads of tools. I'm going to use Google Gemini because if you have a Google account, Google Gemini is free. And what I'm going to ask Google Gemini, Gemini and one thing you can actually talk to Google Gemini, you can click on this button here and talk to it rather than write out your instructions. And in fact, you can do that in multiple languages. You can actually talk to it in multiple languages. I'm going to click on this button here and just ask Google Gemini to help me. I'm learning Polish and I'm about a B1 level and I really want to learn some vocabulary connected to economics. Can you choose for me 10 useful words at B1 level of Polish that I need to learn in Polish? And can you write the uh, English translations of those words for me? And can, put you, can you put that into a table so that I can really easily copy it? 
I'm going to send that message now and I'm going to hope that it's going to actually do, so let me submit, um, that it's going to actually generate that table for me with those words. And this is a really useful because I can now copy those words from the table and then paste them straight into WordWall and you'll be amazed how simple it is. Let me show you in a minute. All right, so I've got my words, and all I'm gonna do, watch this, I'm just gonna copy those words from that table, just like that, okay? Absolutely brilliant, okay? Really easy. Com control copy, or you can just right click and press copy. Now I'm gonna come over to WordWall, and I'm gonna click on create activity, and then I'm gonna click on match up, and watch this, I'm just gonna click here, and I'm gonna paste those words, and they're gonna go straight in, in Polish on one side and then in English on the other side. And even more importantly, I could now add the audio. Remember, you just click on here, make sure you've got the right language, so I need Polish. Click on generate, it has to generate the audio, and then click on okay. And that would save it, and then of course, you can play the game. It's always a good idea to title your activities. Now you could take that idea and use Google Gemini or ChatGPT or Copilot in the same way for loads of things. You could say to it, I want the word plus the opposite of a word, or I want the word in English with a definition in English. You could use it in lots and lots of combinations and generate content that you can put into WordWall straight away. My favorite technology for learning languages is something called TurboScribe, I use it all the time, and I've made a video about how I use TurboScribe, and if you wanna watch that video now, I'm gonna put it on the screen, you can click and watch that. I'm gonna show you one other really interesting way now to study vocabulary. So let's start by opening up Google Translate, so go to your apps, and you should see it amongst your apps, uh, mine's here, click on that, and that will open up Google Translate for you. Let's just very quickly go through a couple of things you obviously can choose the language that you want to learn. So for example, in my case, it's Polish, and I'm gonna paste in a sentence, or I can write in a sentence. I've just copied this sentence from a text. And obviously what I do here is choose the language I want to translate into, which in my case is English. Now we're not actually gonna necessarily use the translations, but the most important thing to understand is that once you've got your translation and you've got your sentence, what you can do is click on this button here, and that will save the sentence. Now that's not the magic button, but it is important because if you wanna see all of the saved sentences that you've got, or the saved words that you've got, you click on saved, and suddenly you will get a list here on the right hand side of all the current sentences that you're trying to save. Now let me show you then how the magic button works. Now I've got about 15 words here in total. There's one page here and if I click here, I've actually got a few more on the next page. Now the magic button is here. Just click on this button here and then you have to click again and that will import the words into Google Sheets and it will give you a list of all of the words that you have saved. Now there is one thing that you do need to do and that is that you need to kind of pull out the margins of those two lists of words. So remember, you've got the, the list of words in, 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 first of all, in whatever language you're translating into, and of course, your home language. So in my case, it's gonna be Polish and English. Now, the interesting thing is I can copy these words and paste them straight in to WordWall. And what you can do is select the words that you want. So if you hold down your mouse, and I'm gonna say, right, I'm gonna select, for example, these words here, okay? That'll do, I could, I could select them all, but I, I can just copy a small group of words. And now I'm gonna right click, once I've selected the words, so select the words that I wanna copy, I wanna right click and copy. Now if I come over to WordWall, and I click on Create Activity, and let's say, let's do a match up, because we're gonna match the English to the Polish, or the Polish to English, and again, I can just paste those words in, and I've made a game. Now, just to be realistic here, you could, for example, just go for the language that you want to practice and maybe copy just the words in Polish, control copy, come over to WordWall, let's scroll up to the top and create another activity type, and maybe you're gonna do a different type of activity. For example, we've looked at earlier at complete the sentences. So having access to the magic button in Google gives you access to all of the sentences or words that you save. 
Okay, really hope you liked the video. And if you do, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialize in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14 part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm gonna leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.